Okay, we're going to take a minute here and show you a little overview of the lesson activity builder. Um, if you notice up at the top here, you have this little top hat. Um, it is known as a lesson activity builder or the lab activities. Now there is another place where we have lesson activity builder and it's right here. So it's a little confusing. So don't confuse the puzzle piece lesson activity builder with the magic hat one right up here. This one has a lot more fun games. This is brand new um, and it's really exciting. So I'm going to show you a little sample of what you can do with that. Um, one of the games is a super sort game and you can sort things into different categories. So it might look something like this. If you wanted to sort odds and evens or nouns and verbs, um, you simply customize it to meet your own needs. Um, you can do things like add little game components so that you can get your students involved. Um, so that your student would then come up and they would get to choose. So a tree is a noun and it would disappear in there. If they make a mistake, it bounces back. That is the super sort. You can do things like shout out. Now this one's a little bit more complicated. It's mobile enabled. So the students can do it on their laptops, on their iPads, anything that has Wi-Fi accessibility. And it works like this. You can categorize or you can just randomly ask the kids questions. This is an example of a categorized one. Um, so you would start the activity. We'll restart it in this case. The kids will be given an address at the top to go on to from their mobile um, device that is connected to Wi-Fi. And then they will be given a code right underneath. It's just taking a minute. The students will then be able to use their device to either send up images or words. So in this example, the students would look around the classroom and perhaps use their iPad to take pictures of cylinders, cubes, or cubes, cuboids, um, or, and it also looks like spheres here. Um, and then they can, um, uh, the pictures will automatically pop up here. Uh, sorry, I'm not sure why this is taking so long to connect. And it's a really fun activity and the kids really enjoy it. Again, you can use it from iPads or from laptops. Moving on, we have the rank order. So with this activity, um, you use the wizard again, you add the activity and you can do activities such as this one right here. Things like smallest to biggest numbers. So you get the nice background and everything and the kids get all of their numbers here and the smallest number needs to get dragged and dropped into the top and you work your way down. You can put fractions in here, you can put decimals, see how your kids can do. Um, anything that needs to be ranked from smallest to biggest. And next we have um, the flip out. So this is an activity where you can use it to practice your multiplication tables. You can do all kinds of activities with this one. It's flip the cards that are hidden. Um, here's an example that give you the abbreviation of all the provinces. So if you click on SK, the students will have to know that that's Saskatchewan. They would have to know that this is Quebec and this is Alberta and so on. Okay, easily customizable. You can reset it just by clicking that and you can click here to customize it and that is the flip out cards. Next you have the fill in the blanks and to do a fill in the blank activity like a closed paragraph type activity. Here's an example here with the O Canada in French. The, you would customize it by typing in um, where you wanted your words to go, um, where you want your um, special words that they drag and drop to go. It's quite easy to customize and make your own. Uh, the next one is the match them up, so an activity where the kids are no longer dra drawing lines between things, but they are dragging and dropping again. Um, all of these activities are pre-made just with a quick little wizard. It's very easy. Here's the plain one. So the kids would drag 100, sorry, drag 100 down here, and they would find the word that says 100 here, and they would match it up, and they would go into a square. There's a couple other examples here that I like. That's the plain example so that it might match your theme of your lesson a little better. Here's kind of a mad lab kind of example. So you would match the rhyming words. Here's log and fog. And once you've matched them, they go, again go up. You can always check your matches here when you're done. Um, and I think I even have a third example just to show you the different um, settings that they have them in. This one's kind of cute. So you find your nickel and your nickel. Do your kids know how to match those up. Really easy to do. The next one is the lab activity that is called label reveal. So to do label reveal, you simply need an image and you need to add some labels to it. And it looks like this. 
So here's where we're talking about um, the water cycle. You can again add game components. So I've got the names in a hat this time. Click the name and it comes up with Cassandra. So it's Cassandra's first turn first. She knows that this is called precipitation. So she'll say precipitation and she'll click on it and see if she's correct. Okay. All customizable you, with your own picture. And the last one that they have there is the speed up raceway. The speed up raceway, um, again, it is quick. You just need to type in your questions. The students are given questions. They are then um, given a little horse. They choose which horse or which an animated character they want to race around the speedway. And it stops at different intervals asking them questions. The kids answer with an A, B, C on each side. You can have, I think, up to four players. Um, so the kids answer with A, B, C, D. Um, and then, um, but, you know, the horses race around according to whether or not they get the answers correct or not. And that is an overview of all of the different activities that you can do by clicking on this Lesson Activity Builder. You'll click on that and then they all appear right here and you'll simply click Add this activity to try one of them out. They're great and I hope you really like them.